Good morning, this is Dan with Dan's Everything Outdoors and it's starting to snow here right now. The temperatures are dropping and I just want to spend the afternoon um, watching a good movie and being cozy and warm. So I've got a gas fireplace in my basement. Uh, it's, a, it's a regular fireplace, but I many years ago just put a gas insert into there so I could uh, have the ease of just starting a fire and stopping a fire real easily. And I had a tank system that was set up by a local gas company and it was a 420 gallon, uh, I'm sorry, 420 cylinder tank that held about 100 gallons of propane. And it was just really expensive to get filled up. It was up to like $5.50 uh, per um, gallon that they were putting in this thing and I was never using all the fuel every year because I wasn't spending much time uh, watching TV I don't watch much TV but and I don't I wasn't using that that gas fireplace very much so it was end up cost me an additional a uh, hundred dollars a year of rental fee because I wasn't meeting their minimum requirements for the fuel that I used and on top of the cost for filling a tank they were also charging me a uh, additional ha hazard surcharge fee and they're also charging me a recovery fee what they're recovering i don't know because they were filling it up they weren't recovering the propane so i'm not going to name the name of the company it doesn't really matter but the prices was outrageous it was kind of a ripoff and i had them remove the tank uh, about a year ago and so I'm thinking, well, how can I still use this? And I said, well, I have gas tanks everywhere. I use the uh, 20 pound, which is a five gallon cylinder for uh, my gas grills and things like that. And I happen to have one that is um, just laying around the house as an extra one. And so today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hook up uh, just a regular five gallon, which is a 20 pound cylinder up to the feed that they had set up for me and get my gas fireplace going. Uh, because I'll probably really only use two of these tanks a year anyways, and I thought it would just make sense to do that. All right, so what I did is I measured uh, the, the sizing. I kind of went out and looked at what size I'd need to get this accomplished and uh, some type of a hose to go from a propane tank to the fitting that they had on there. And they had a, a 3 8 inch fitting is the size that they used. And I went out and I picked up, on Amazon, I picked up a hose with a regular I went ahead and put a regulator on there uh, and this hooks up to my propane tank and this has a 3 8 inch fitting on it so that is right this cut roughly cost me um, 20 bucks then also went on to Amazon and figured out I would need a 3 8 inch adapter male to male fitting and I got this for nine bucks and it came with some the the Teflon the tape all right so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put this on the tank and we're gonna test it out to see if it works. I didn't know if I need the regulator or not because I don't believe that the tank that was here, the 420 uh, pound cylinder, which is a 100 gallon tank, had a, a regulator on it, may have, may not have, but I went ahead and got a hose that had this uh, regulator on there. So we're gonna hook it up to this, uh, to the cylinder right here. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is just uh, put it on this end here grab one of these fittings here let's go ahead and put this some of this fitting tape I don't know how much of this I need to put on I'm just gonna wrap it around a couple times on this end screw that in here tighten that up this I believe is a this is a three eight three quarter inch and the fitting uh, the actual size of five eighths so just tighten that up real quick. That was easy enough. Then this is just a, I don't think it would leak without this, but I'm just making sure it doesn't leak. And I'll come back later and uh, measure with a leak detector, make sure that there's no leakage going on. I mean, this is done all the, all the time for for gas grills, so it's fairly safe. All right, so let's go put this in place. And with here, 
what I did is, is that I'm going to um, put this up a little bit better for today. I'm just going to hook this up and see how well it works. But I did have to bend this up just a little bit to get to meet this hose right here. And then I'll secure this to the house here in a little bit. And then this, I'm going to screw that on there and tighten it down. This one was a little bit bigger size. This was a, um, this is a seven eighths. And then the male to male fitting is a five eighths. Let's get this tightened up. Okay, we're hooked up. Last thing, let's go ahead and open up this tank and we're gonna go in the house and start the gas fireplace. All right, so when I did this, the flame wasn't, when I was running the pilot light, I purged out the air and the pilot light wasn't as strong as it was with the other tank. So it wasn't touching this sensor here. So I moved the sensor just a little bit so it'd be within the flame so that when I, once the pilot light is lit, it stays lit and doesn't go out and that's just a, a safety feature that they have that if your pilot light were to go out and this sensor isn't sensing any heat it cuts off your propane so that you don't get a bunch of propane in your house okay so now that i adjusted that it's going to start it up oh, here we go i gotta hold this in a little bit it's got to wait for that heat sensor to heat up and then it's going to run so I don't know if the flame's just a little bit weaker because of the regulator or if the line, uh, since they removed the tank, has some type of little bit of restriction in it. All right, but the pilot light's running on its own now. All right, see how it works. Oh, it's lit lighting. Well, the flames look just as high as they ever were with the other tank. That all looks totally normal. Let's check my range. Turn it down. Oh yeah. Right there. It's the lowest with, I can get it without it puttering. I can turn all the way up to there for, oh, lots of heat coming off on that. Excellent, excellent. Well, congratulations to me, success. That worked out fantastic. You saw that I got the fireplace all going and everything, and it is snowing. So perfect timing to get that up and just enjoy the the afternoon. Um, Super Bowls this afternoon, um, I will not be watching. I'll find something else fun to do with my family, and we'll go out and just enjoy the afternoon. So, as a matter of fact, I think I have a tank that somebody gave me a couple years ago. I think it's a 50 gallon tank. I'm gonna go look for that right now because I may go ahead and get that filled up and get the fitting set up so I can have a little bit larger tank. And I don't have to pay a refill. I don't have to, uh, uh, I can get cheaper costs. And by the way, when we looked at the cost of that, it was, I was costing possibly $5.50 per gallon with this gas company. I can go down to a local place here that refills the tanks. I think they're at a, I think they, they run a refill tank it's right near a, a trailer park and they fill it for like three dollars a gallon that's a huge amount of savings i don't have to pay the hundred dollar a year um fee for not meeting their quota i don't have to pay a surcharge um uh, hazard hazmat fee i don't have to pay a recovery fee and i don't have to pay their exorbitant prices and i can get it filled when i want to not when some big truck comes down my driveway when i'm not expecting him to be here so all around success so thanks for watching i'm gonna go look for that that um a bigger tank that i believe somebody gave me a couple years ago and go out enjoy everything outdoors give me some likes thumbs up appreciate it have a great day Bye bye looking to see if that tank underneath this boat cover possible oh there we go look at that look at that hidden inside these tires i think that's a 50 gallon tank oh, i think i'll get that tank tested and 
get it filled and be able to use that in place of my smaller tank.